continuing with our discussion of Mars. Uh, the last lecture I ended with this graphic right here, a map of Mars made by some of the orbiting spacecraft. This is a topographical relief map, and it shows several features here I want to point out. First of all, the entire northern part of Mars, the entire northern region of Mars up here is much lower elevation and very smooth. There's only a handful of craters there. The southern half of Mars, on the other hand, is much higher elevation and lots of craters. It's almost like we have two worlds sandwiched together right here. The Tharsis Plateau here, uh, right near the equator, where, where you get Olympus Mons and the other Tharsis volcanoes on there. Uh, but there's also these two very large round regions right here, Argyre Planitia and Hellas Planitia. And so, uh, um, interesting enough, Hellas Planitia uh, shipyards is where the Starship Enterprise was built, at least in, in, in the Star Trek universe. And I always wondered how that worked because the space dock was not obviously not on the surface of the planet and could not orbit directly over there because it would have to be an equatorial orbit if it was synchronous orbit. So I'm not sure how they did that, but anyway. But uh, this this those two features right there, big round holes because they're, they're deep. What does that sound like? It sounds like impact features. In fact, they probably are impact features. Hellas Planitia is a giant impact feature. How big? 1,400 miles across, the size of Texas. Yeah, you could fit Texas inside of that, actually. So Hellas Planitia ranks as one of the biggest impact features in the solar system. It's bigger than the uh, um, giant impact feature that we have on Mercury, the uh, Chloris Basin. Uh, it's almost as big as the uh, South Pole Aiken Basin on the moon. Um, until they realized the South Pole Aiken Basin was an impact feature, they used to regard Hellas Planitia as the largest impact feature. Now it's the second largest. Moon has the biggest one. It's, it's deep. It's, it's over four miles deep. And um, in fact, uh, it's four miles deep, seven kilometers below the surface, but the crater walls are pushed up two kilometers. There's a big mountain range around there. And so it is this enormous deep hole from a giant impact in the past. Argyre Planitia is another big impact. It's not quite as deep or as big. Both of these are, I think, very interesting features in which they've punched into the surface and into the crust of Mars. Um, if I were actually sending spacecraft to Mars, I would actually target one towards uh, the Hellas Planitia. Uh, because being such a low region right there, it would actually collect a lot of things. It would have higher atmospheric pressure there. Uh, that would really be a more interesting place to look than some of the other places I think that they've been looking, but they didn't really ask me. Here they are uh, superimposed on the United States, the Hellas Planitia and the Argyre Planitia. This gives you an idea as to how ginormous those two impacts are. 